Hi guys! Again, this is Teacher Luis, your mommy tutor. So today, I'm going to discuss another topic and that is LCM or the least common multiple. Last time, na-discuss ko ang GCF. So today, gagawin naman natin ay LCM or least common multiple. So from the word itself, least Ibig sabihin, that's the smallest. Okay, number. Na common multiple ng two or more numbers. Okay, so to get the LCM, again, we can use different method. Last time sa GCF, I discussed two methods in getting the GCF and LCM. And that is using prime factorization and the continuous division. So, ganun din dito, ituturo ko pa rin using prime factorization and continuous division. So, to get the LCM of 20, first we need to get the prime factors. So, kukunin ulit natin ang prime factors to get the LCM. Okay, so common multiple to, hindi siya common factors. Okay, <clears throat> pag sinabi natin common multiple, so usually sila yung mga, say skip counting, yung product. Okay, it's not the factors but it's the product. Okay, so first we will be using the prime, uh, the prime factorization or the factor 3 to, to get the factors of 20 using factor 3, the prime factors, it's 4 times 5. 5 is already a prime number, but 4 is not because 4 can still be 2 and 2. So, 2 and 2 are prime numbers. So, the factors of, prime factors of 20, I, 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, next is 15. So, 15, prime factors of 15 are 3 and 5. And both 3 and 5 are already prime numbers. So, 3 times 5. Okay, now that we know the prime factors of 20 and 15, it's time for us to get the... LCM. So, unang-unang titignan natin to get the LCM. Tingnan muna natin kung ano yung common sa kanila. So, at ang common sa kanila ay 5. Both of this number has 5. So, since common sa kanila yung 5, ibababa na natin this as 1. So, may 5 tayo dyan. Okay? So, parang first, kailangan muna natin kunin yung GCF niya and that is 5. Okay, so after nating makuha yung 5, next titingnan natin kung meron pang common sa kanila. Pag wala na, iisa-isahin natin lahat tong mga factors na natitira dito is bababa natin siya. Okay, so 5 common sa kanila times yung 3 dito times yung 2 times another 2. Okay? Oh, so lahat 'yan na ibaba na natin yung 3, yung 2, yung 2. Okay, now, we are going to multiply this number to get the LCM. So, 3 times 5 is 15, times 2 is 30, 30 times 2 is 60. So, the LCM of 20 and 15 is 60. Okay, so that's how we get the LCM using the prime factorization. Now, paano naman pag gagamitin natin ang tinatawag na continuous division? Can we still get the same answer? So, let's see. Okay, 20 here and 15. So, the first thing that you need to write is find the number that is divisible to both 20 and 15. And that is 5. So, 4, 20 divided by 5 is 4. And then, 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, so as you can see here, 
makikita mo na wala nang ibang number na pwede mag-divide dito except 5. So, maliban doon, 1 na lang yan. So, 1, 4, at saka 3. Pwede na ganyan. Now, to get the LCM, ang gagawin mo lang ay kukunin mo o imumultiply mo lahat ng number na nasa labas. Dito, hanggang dyan. Kasi wala na yan. Okay, so yung, yung nandi rito, diba, sinabi ko last time, eto yung GCF. So as you can see, common sa kanila yung 5, common sa kanila yung 5. Yung 5 dito ay yung GCF nila. After that, lahat ng natira dito sa baba niya, after we divide, we're done dividing this without any other number that's common to them, after nung 1 na yon, ang gagawin mo lang, multiply mo lahat yan. So 5 times 1 is 5 times 4 is 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60. So, pag isusulat mo yan dito, 5 times 1 times 4 times 3, it's still equal to 60. Okay? At ang 60 na to, eto yung tinatawag nating LCM. Okay? So, as you can see, we still get the same answer. Okay, we get the same answer as LCM, which is 60. Same answer. So, there. Okay, so we can get the LCM using two methods. This is the prime factorization and this one is the continuous division. Okay, next. Let's see what if we are dividing or we are getting the LCM of three-digit number. Okay, so for this three-digit number, we have 15, 18, and 21. So again, we need to get the prime factors of 15, 18, and 21. Okay, using the... Using the prime factorization. Okay, at prime factorization, we need to do the factor 3. So, 15 here, it's 3 and 5. And then for 18, that will be 6 and 3. And 6 is 2 and 3. And for 21, that will be 3 and 7. Okay, now we're ready to write all the factors of these three numbers here. So, this is 3 times 5. And then, for 18, that will be 2 times 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3 times 2. And for 21, that will be 3 times 7. So, 3 times 7. Okay. So, just like what I said, kailangan mo nang alamin if there are numbers that are common. And that is 3. So, th these three numbers has common and that's 3. Okay? And then, the next thing na kailangan mong gawin ay kailangan mo nang ibaba lahat-lahat ng numbers dito. So, we need to bring down times 5, times 3, times 2, and times 7. So, eto na yung numbers na dapat mong gawin or i-multiply to get the LCM of these three numbers. So, it's kind of big. So, 3 times 5 is 15 times 3 45 times 2 is 90 and times 7 is 630. So, ang LCM ng 15, 18, at 21 ay 630. Okay? So, this is the LCM of these three numbers. Okay? Next, using the continuous division naman, again, we're going to write it here. 15, 18, and 21. Continuous division, 15, 18, 21 can be divisible by... 3. So, 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 
So, ano yung number na pwede pa mag-divide dyan? Wala nang iba kundi 1. So, we put 1 here, 1. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 6 divided by 1 is 6. 7 divided by 1 is 7. So, since na-divide na natin to by 1, ibig sabihin lahat nyan wala na siyang ibang ibang pwedeng divi divisor except 1. So, we are now ready to get the LCM by multiplying everything here outside. Okay, so those are 3 times 1 times 5 times 6 and times 7. So, if we multiply that, we'll get what? 3 times 1, 5, 1 times 3 times 5, that will be 15. 15 times 6, that will be what? 90 times 7, that will be 6. 30. So, pareho pa rin sila. The LCM here, we got 630. So, this is the LCM. Okay? So, pareho sila ng sagot. Both the continuous division and the um, prime factorization, we get the same answer, 630. Okay? So, that's how we get the LCM of 2 or three numbers okay so i hope i was able to help you again kung paano manguha ng lcm at gcf ng two or three numbers okay so this is teacher louis your mommy tutor so kung may mga gusto po kayong ipadiscuss sa akin sa na mga videos you it's you can uh, comment or message me dito sa after ng uh, video na ito para I can discuss it for you guys. For me to help you. That's one way of helping you out in this time of pandemic. Okay, bye! See you again next time!